Coming up next is the UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Here is the light heavyweight contender. Johnny Walker came off a Dana White's contender series Brazil style. Three consecutive first round knockouts to begin his UFC career. He's just getting started. And three consecutive bonuses. It's much harder when you're going in there, fight tooth and nail, and walking away with just your paycheck. But Johnny Walker has made a habit of putting on performances that makes people take notice. From the knockout of Khalil Roundtree to the spinning back fist that he landed against Justin Leday. He has been a highlight reel in a bottle, and he is looking to continue his climb up the UFC light heavyweight rank. And at least to this point, the only adversity he's faced in the octagon, self-inflicted oh the post-fight celebration after the Misha Serkinov. I mean, his celebrations are crazy. He threw his shoulder out yeah. doing the worm. He told me the other day in Brazil he has to find a new way to celebrate. I said, you think, Johnny? I think he does, but Johnny Walker's on the fast track, and he's got a big one in front of him here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 28. Walker is three inches tall. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 21 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Mekhakala, Russia, Magomed and Goliath! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliata. So Dan Bergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? So far, All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. In the clinch, big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just misses with the right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, big shot lands. It's such a fast leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Blocks the shot. See him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. 
Both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful combination. That one appeared to be What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, single collar tie here. Big kick lands. Big elbow. Just over 20 total strikes have already connected for Johnny. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! Takedown defense holds up. Oh! Big punch man goes on to top. How's he gonna follow this one? Final seconds here. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Round two here. Lands the right hand. Huge block. Compromise, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice jab. Big kick land. Unable to connect with the right. He blocks the punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. One of the most important strikes in the clinch is this big body shot. Well, he's really starting to land a huge, huge
match high. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. defensively as he blocks the shot. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defense fighters in the UFC. Well, most fighters... Oh, no. He put him to sleep. Back to the feet. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over! It's over! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 26 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Johnny!